What's good, future millionaires? We back with another banger. I'm December DeMarco, Fortune 500 marketer, and I'm here to share my insights of the market with y'all to hopefully help y'all become better informed investors, man. Salute to everybody for pulling up on the channel. Make sure y'all hit that thumbs up like button for the YouTube algorithm. Also, do not forget to subscribe if you haven't. And also check out the links in the description section for free resources, crypto and stocks for those looking to basically get some for free. So, I had a lot of people talking about the SHIB AMA, so I wanted to go over that real quick. They you know, touched on a few things. Honestly, from my opinion, it wasn't what I was expecting. I was hoping to get a lot more information from it, but they talked about you know, the doggy DAO, the decentralized autonomous organization, and how Bone would be the governance token. They talked about the two new games that were uh, on the way, one with uh, William Volk with PlaySide Studio. They also talked about the shiboshi game that will be based on the blockchain or basically the uh metaverse style video game but we also have some uh some some insight in there that basically shatoshi is not too excited or thrilled about the metaverse hype that's going on right now so i'm looking to you know i was hoping to get more insight about the, uh the oshiverse or you know just a little bit more in-depth information about the shiba inu uh metaverse as well and um one of the main things, you know, after uh, getting some feedback from my community, as well as just looking around, I seen a lot of people, you know, basically were also, you know, feeling a little disappointed about the uh, AMA. So I wanted to read a post that I found interesting here. And I want to see what y'all thought about it as well. So uh, first, I want to say, you know, shout out to Queenie for holding down the AMA. Uh, you know, I'm sure that probably was a a tough thing to do right there. Like I seen her mention online that, you know, she had to do that in front of a lot of people knowing that it would be recorded and things like that. But, you know, uh, as far as how it was presented, you know, and how it represented, you know, the, the sheep army, I think it could have been a, a little bit better, especially for, you know, the, the level or the importance of this project. So, um, I just want to read this article and I want y'all to chime in and add y'all opinions as well. And I'll go through this video's comments and, you know, see what y'all are saying and possibly make another update on it. So this post started off saying a he 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 queenie. So this person says, I hope the next AMA is more info worthy with less giggles and arrogance from some dudes who automatically assumed any questions asked was going to be immature. So they felt the need to be to threaten people beforehand. I really despise elitists. All they managed to do was keep Shiba Inu in the red and folks don't trip over the bone discovery. It's not new. It was always intended to be the governance token. The Eric M. fella has mentioned this several times. The real question is how much bone will be needed for a transaction. We shall see. So uh, another person saying could have done without it. Dave and company are a bunch of uh, y'all can read that word right there. Uh, someone else says, yeah, I wasn't too thrilled about the AMA, to be honest. Another person saying hearing the unpolished presentation unworthy of 20 billion of market cap and their inability to even start what amounts to a shareholder meeting on time has done more to truly educate me about the future of this coin than a thousand childish speculative posts by 15 year olds with one hundred dollars in the game who don't realize that marking who don't realize the market can people alive wipe its mouth and go right back to sleep i think you meant to say the market can eat people alive wipe its mouth and go right back to sleep so another person and you know th these are all opinions from shiba inu holders so i don't want to just dispel all this as fud you know people are truly sharing their sentiment this is something that's very important to understand you know how people are feeling about it now i'll just say it right here do i you know have any doubt about the project no i don't i'm still long term shiba inu five years plus but i just want y'all to be able to get some insight of the market you know and see how people are feeling and how this could affect the price right now so uh, let's see, where did we just leave out? So uh, I love the project, but their team needs a PR overhaul. They act like elitist children, especially to newbies in the discord. It's like a circle jerk club over there. And any concern is slapped with FUD call outs if it's not a moon post. And no matter the question, of course, people will have questions about their investment, especially since 90 percent of holders probably don't care about the game or ecosystem. Like another commenter said here, most were brought in because of the community marketing and burns. I understand you should do your own research, but no need to be. And they put that word there about it. So, yes, yeah, very important that, you know, 
people do their own research. And that's not just a catchphrase that people say in investing. It's something that should really be taken seriously because at times like this, this is what will show, you know, shine light on those who really did their research. The people who aren't complaining through the times like this, the people who aren't uncertain or aren't, you know, having doubt because of, you know, just one bad AMA. Like that doesn't affect me as an investor at all. You know, it's just I was looking forward to have more insightful information. But as far as an investor, does it make me want to sell my position, not hold sheep any longer? No, not at all. Not even a little bit. You know why? Because I did my due diligence. I did my research on the project. I understand the future potential of what this project can be. I understand the community. I understand the use case. I understand, you know, all the upcoming things that are potentially, you know, you know, coming to fruition with this project. So that allows me to hold it, you know, without feeling, you know, shaky or get, becoming emotional about it. So, uh. Let's keep going with this person. It says, of, uh, of course, people. OK, he says Shatoshi's meltdown on Twitter over Ask the Doctor was also cringy, though that account needed to be called out. It's a bad look overall, in my opinion, not professional at all. You know, uh, I definitely understand what this person is saying about the post uh, with Shatoshi uh, on Twitter, you know, kind of. Flipping out about it. I don't really think it was that big of a deal. You know, you, you got to remember at the end of the day, Shatoshi is human as well. So Shatoshi can kind of get fed up with some things and, you know, sometimes react in a way that, you know, a real human would react. You know, it's not a, a professional, you know, centralized company. You know, these are people who are volunteering, you know, providing their time to, you know, help push the, the project further. You know, of course, people are making money along the way, but. You know, it's not like they filled out an application for this position and uh, agreed to be, you know, up or uphold a certain level of professionalism. So we might see some rawness at times because of that's just the nature of decentralization and, you know, the token that we're involved in. So uh, someone else says, indeed, I've really ever I really ever has anything bad to say about this project. I defend it a lot, actually, but I don't get emotionally invested in these coins slash token constructive criticism also gets labeled as FUD way too much in my book. So this uh, person here, I believe this might be Queenie if I'm not mistaken, but the name says Marasi. So it says, thanks for the feedback. You're quite right. I was very nervous. I was asked to represent the community and team by the devs and have now learned I have a nervous tick that forms as laughter. Your definition of professionalism aside, I was early to the AMA, but the team had failed to send me a speaker link and then ignored our sheep staff DMs while they tried to look for me. I then received about 300 listener links from people trying to be helpful until eventually we got through to them and received the right link. Now, by this point, I felt pretty awful. I don't like the time wasters either, hence me being there early. Then it started, and it was pretty much none of the questions they indicated I would be asked so the devs and I could discuss what could and couldn't be shared beforehand. Have you ever had to freestyle answers in layman's and technical context to over 10,000 people knowing it would be recorded and watched by even more? Spaces also failed miserably for me and that I had to go through three headsets and two phones throughout the session. So, yes, could it have been better? Absolutely. Do I need to work on my anxiety and nervousness? Yep. Will some people treat me like a vapid, vapid e-girl no matter what role I hold on the team or my in real life career in finance? Also, yes. The devs were happy. The types of holders I was representing were happy. That's enough for me. So, uh, that's, I believe the response from Queenie and I can say, you know, uh, I'm not too much tripping off her, uh, involvement because, you know, she's just, uh, you know, basically facilitator of the AMA, you know, just the person that's holding down the conversations, but, um, you know, I just wanted to really see, you know, some more in-depth information, you know, for us serious holders, you know, I felt a lot of time was wasted. Which don't get me wrong, it's not, you know, wasted time because there's different levels of investors, you know, beginner investors, intermediate level, you know, and, you know, more experienced investors as well. But I feel a lot of time was spent explaining very simple concepts of what things were, you know, versus, uh, you know, we were explaining certain things like general crypto concepts versus explaining, you know, going more into depth with things about Shiba Inu specifically. So, uh, but, you know. Hopefully the team learns from that and the next one is better. You know, hopefully we can host one on the channel. 
And, you know, we'll have it more focused on, you know, actually the project and, you know, the future of what Shiba Inu will be. So, uh, hello, Marissi. This is a response from someone else. I'm a newcomer to the world of Shiba Inu ecosystem. And so am I here on Reddit. I learn and read a lot and think my part with many dubious and unempathic, un, unempathetic comments. I don't know what that is, y'all. Some of these comments are really bad in my eyes, and I think they don't stand for what Sheep Army means. Now, I'm reading this comment from you right now, and if not completely off the track, you really are the one who so bravely answered all the questions yesterday. I want to express my greatest respect to you. I had absolutely no expectations from the AMA event, but my feeling, which has developed through weeks of research on Twitter about the developers and supporters of the ecosystem, has been confirmed 100%. You and the many other people like Shy gossip sheep milkshake eric etc exude a wonderful humanity if you can say that on the internet i think you live what the ecosystem is all about nobody takes himself more seriously than he is nobody plays the boss because there is no boss in the sense of centralized projects i found your performance wonderful despite all the technical problems despite the nervousness that is just human this is what someone says who has depression and social phobia himself and has already retired with 40 years of age, especially your laughter, even if it happened out of nervousness and your constant positivity through the whole conversation made you very sympathetic in my eyes. Keep focusing on the people and reactions who slash which are good for you. I think you and the whole guys who are working for She Project are doing it very well, very, very well. Warm greetings to Australia from Germany. Not 100 percent accurate and speaking English, but almost so. That's just, uh, you could also f find a link here on the Sheep Army page or on uh, Satoshi's Twitter page to the actual um, AMA. But uh, someone else, you know, I, I just want to give different perspectives. So that person was just a, a beginner investor, you know, someone new who basically, you know, says that they don't have any, you know, bad feelings or, from the AMA. Why? Because they didn't expect anything much. So that can show us the sentiment of a beginner investor into Shiba Inu who's only been in it for a couple months investing in crypto for a small amount of time. Those people, they, they probably didn't, you know, recognize what, you know, some of the people that were more invested or been around, you know, the block a little bit longer or a few more times uh, were expecting from that AMA. You know, if that was someone's first AMA, which most likely I would probably say, you know, a good half or more, even probably 80 percent of those people listening, 90 percent of those people on that AMA, that was probably their first AMA. So, you know, they're not knowing what to expect, you know, from it, you know, and that's not a, you know, a bad thing. But, you know, it just shows us that the beginner investors aren't too phased by that AMA. So we'll get into the price. Uh, Look at the price in a second. But I just wanted to go over that. But uh, here's another post saying. The entire AMA was unprofessional and not because of the laughs. The AMA was more of a controlled chat. Sheep investors deserve to have their questions answered. The devs hid behind you. Shatoshi was conveniently ambiguous with his replies to your questions. As an early investor in Sheep, my expectation was and still remains that she be incorporated into the ecosystem. Now, you see how we just had an example from a beginner investor. Now, here's someone who's an early investor. That's why I wanted to read this to give you all some of the sentiment from both sides. So, uh... As an early investor in Sheep, my expectation was and still remains that she be incorporated into the ecosystem. To date, all Sheep is good for is staking bone on Shiba Swap or for making purchases. That's not enough. Moreover, bones are available for purchase on Shiba Swap with ETH. This is another slap in the face because it further devalues Sheep. Concerns about Sheep circulating supply and how the devs will. Okay, yeah, I had to do a part two to this one, y'all, because I got a call in the middle of that one, but. Uh, there is an inherent responsibility for the devs to do more than reduce the ridiculous amount of circulating tokens, continuing to encourage the community to burn their own tokens, pay for merchandise to advertise Shiba Inu. It's clear that this project has experienced exponential growth within a short period of time and with some smart plays such as Shitoshi sales, the devs uh, Shiboshi sales, excuse me, the, the NFTs, the devs have done well with increasing their ETH holdings. 
It's immature and irrational to have outbursts and act like a victim when, in fact, a lot of money has already been earned by the devs because of early sheep investors. I do not believe that they would have the same replies to a VC investor. The devs need to aggressively participate in burning sheep tokens and the games, which have apparently been excluded from burn mechanisms, will hands down generate a lot of immediate capital. The types of holders you were representing were happy. Please define the types of holders you were representing. The absence of maturity and professionalism continues to manifest so uh that's just some of you know what people are saying let's take a quick look let's take a quick look at uh the actual market let's take a look at the price so the market right now is up 1.3 percent we could see uh bitcoin down seven percent for the week ETH down 8% for the week. BNB down 5% for the week. Let's move on down the sheet real quick. We are sitting up on the day 1.49%, sitting at 34.04 right now. I'm expecting, honestly, to see a slight pullback, maybe to around that 27 level before we uh, find support again and, and take off after uh you know this new year because like i told y'all people are going to be taking profit people are going to be uh you know closing out positions and re-establishing their strategy for the next year moving forward so we might see you know some resistance at that four level and potentially some support all the way down at that two seven level that's if we see a breakout the fours are the best you know uh if I'm being optimistic, the four levels where I'm seeing right now, we could break through and push and test that four or five range if we are lucky with some major news. But with the way the AMA just happened and, you know, seeing like, you know, a lot of people uh not as hype right now, we could see some of the price, you know, pull back as, you know, people take profits as in some people might lose some confidence and close their position, you know, and try to hop into or chase other projects. But that's all expected, though. You know, we need, you know, to shake people off before we can take off again. So this is going to happen in a very short period of time. Keep your eyes on your portfolios. So we got for this video. Appreciate y'all for pulling up and we are out.